Good morning friends I will summarize few points about the traffic engineering Let us start with the origin and destination studies to plan design and improve the highway routes origin and destination studies are done Number 2 they are represented by O and D tables that is origin and destination tables number 2 pie charts number 3 desire lines and number 4 contour lines next point for accident studies collision diagrams are prepared let us have a look at the traffic flow please see the diagram the first diagram shows the diverging traffic flow the second diagram shows the merging traffic flow the third one shows the crossing traffic flow and the fourth one shows the weaving traffic flow so in the past year paper they have drawn the diagram and you have to identify that which type of traffic flow it is let us see some questions which has been asked in the gate architecture question number 1 design line diagram help seen option a completion of a project by a desired date option b meeting demand and supply in desired category of housing option c determining income versus expenditure pattern of individuals option d origin and destination analysis in transport planning here the correct option will be option d that is the origin and destination analysis in transport planning the second question was of similar type that is desire lines are associated with option a origin and destination analysis in transport planning option b income expenditure analysis in personal finance management option c cut fill analysis in landscape planning option d demand and supply analysis in economic planning so the correct answer is origin and destination analysis in transport planning as you can see the desire line uh, diagram question it has appeared two times in the gate architecture paper parking parking can be done in two ways number one on street or curb k e r b curb or off street but vehicles parked at 90 degree is the most efficient one Next important point is as per IRC the minimum illumination required on important roads is 30 lux and on main roads it is 15 lux Next is the traffic signal The traffic signal goes like this way first it is red red to amber amber to green green to amber and then amber to red like this way the cycle continues Obviously you know the meaning of it red means stop amber means about to change and green means proceed now these signals are designed in by two methods number one trial cycle method and the webster method